Hey, it's Michael from grtraining.com. Uh, welcome to another uh, YouTube tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you, not Jira, not Jira, but I can promise you, I'm going to record more videos about Confluence. So yes, we're going to talk this time about Confluence. However, about dynamic reports from Jira into Confluence. So in this video, we're going to show you how to create a meeting notes and what's the most important dynamic notes. I'm going to maybe show you a little bit other macros and of course, how to create like 2D and 3D reports. So basically, what is the purpose of this video? Because very often like people asking me how basically to manage stuff uh, from from Jira, you know, like reports, you know, how to add any informations uh, from Jira, and you know, sometimes, sometimes I have to say, um, you know, people just 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 storing that information in Google Docs, stuff like this, and if your Jira is connected to the Confluence, oh, it is a great great tool because you know, uh, well, I'm not sure actually if you know, but I'm always saying you know Jira plus. Confluence equals marriage. It is great, great, great companion. Okay, so let's jump into my Jira instance so I can show you step-by-step -step tutorials. All right, so I'm assuming again, you're the system administrator and also I'm assuming you have the Confluence yeah, because there's no point to just to do it if you, if, you, if you don't have the license for the Confluence. Yeah, so basically just a really quick reminder, you can switch between those two um, pieces of software using those, those like they, they call it hamburger menu on the left hand side, top left hand side. Okay, and we've got Confluence here. But before we're gonna do it, just let's, 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 let's really quickly talk what, what, what we're gonna do, you know, what's the purpose of that? So basically like, you know, for instance, I've just met um, in theory. I just met my 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 product manager or my my scrum team, you know, and we just decided let's have a meeting about all outstanding bugs in our project. Yeah, so uh, it's pretty cool, you know. We maybe don't have that many bugs. Let's say I don't know about ten or twenty, and you know, now it's I think it's a really good time to just put them somewhere. So what you can do, you know, well, how many options do you have? So, well, normally you're gonna just create, I would suggest you create maybe a report. What else uh, you can do with them? You know, just create a filter. Yes, create a filter, add the report. What else you can do? Yes, you can actually put them into your dashboard, but okay, you know, not very efficient way. So I know a better, better solution to that. Let's create a Confluence page. So let's create a Confluence page with the meeting notes and let's pull that stuff dynamically from Jira. How to do it? So first step, of course, you know, we need some information from Jira. So, well, probably I've got something set it up, set it up already, but you know, whatever, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it from scratch. So I've got this actually scrum project, whatever, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's a scrum or Kanban, uh, or even, you know, non agile, no problem whatsoever. So I'm going to create maybe a few bugs, like, you know, I need a few of them. Bug one. Back three. So maybe it's gonna be not that many actually bugs, but why not? Why not? So what's gonna happen now? So it looks like I've got four or five of them. So, well, I'm not sure about it. Let's create a very quick filter. And so I can filter, filter them out. How to do it again, you know, how you watch my previous, previous, actually previous video, previous tutorials, but you're gonna do it from, from, um, from search. So just navigate to the search. I'm gonna select my bikes project. Yep. Yeah. Issue type, let's say it's gonna be all bikes. And status doesn't really matter. That's everything. That's absolutely fine. So look at this. I've got actually six of them. And I'm gonna save them. Yeah, I'm gonna save them. And so uh my ex bikes. Yeah, maybe not the best names, but absolutely um
bikes, okay? And it's like, why the bay is small, small bit. All right, I'm happy about this, you know, I saved my filter. Cool, cool, cool. So, you know, I'm, I think that's gonna be it in a year. Let's switch into the Confluence. So I'm gonna, of course, navigate to the hamburger menu, yeah? Go to the Confluence. And, yeah, I'm assuming, again, you got a few uh, spaces. You know, I've got actually some space over here, which is absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do, I am just going to create new page right now. How to do it? I'm just navigate to the pages. And I'm going to create new page. And from the template, I'm going to choose meeting notes. Yeah, why not? Why not? So create... And look at this, you know, straight away, Confluence just generated uh, our meeting notes from a template. By the way, that blueprint is editable, so we can actually change that without any problems. And, you know, I think, you know, after you add our participants, what are we, we going to do now? I think I'm going to happy. I'm happy really about it right now. So I have to publish it. I can tell you why, because that stuff works much better when you've First of, all, first of all, save the page. So basically I can show you why, because dynamic content sometimes doesn't work straight away after you create a page. You have to save it to paste dynamic content. So, okay, I'm gonna publish it. And I'm gonna edit it again. And now, now I'm gonna go into my second tab. And because my filter is favorite, so I'm going to open Jira and I'm going to go for a, where is my, my development project? Like that, absolutely fine. I like it. And look at this. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy the URL. And next, I'm going to go back to my Confluence, put them out somewhere. Like, you know, I think here is going to be fine and paste it. And look at this. Have you seen that? In just one simple click, copy paste, Confluence created the dynamic report. So I'm gonna publish it now and let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, it's loading, loading, loading. Come on, it's something not very, very fast today. Oh dear. Uh, maybe the screen resolution is not the best, but have a look, please have a look. You know, that's just so simple. And we've got all our bags, six of them. Yeah, six of them, they actually just absolutely the same. Just paste it straight away into Confluence. And they're also, that report is dynamic. What does it mean, you know? For instance, I'm gonna come back to my Jira and I am just gonna change something. So what I would like to do, I don't want to see, well, I only, I only want to see in progress and to do, maybe blocked. So basically I'm going to select for maybe everything, but done. Yeah, and maybe that should be. I don't know why there is only five, but that doesn't really matter. And look at this, you know, I just selected basically everything. So I saved it. Now I'm going to come back to Confluence and I'm going to reload the page. But you don't really need to reload the page. You can also refresh. And can you see, yes, we've got five issues. Five issues because we changed that element. Yes, we changed that element. And right now it is pulling pulling the information from Jira. So let's gonna actually do one thing. Let's resolve one more issue. I'm gonna actually go to the workflow and I set the status done. So again, when I'm gonna go back to my issues, it is four. So now, you know, for instance, of course, uh, I have to refresh it. And as clearly you can see, that number is also changing inside Confluence. That's how simple it is. And you know, of course, you know, what is the purpose of that? Because we are, we've got a meeting right now, you know, now it was like six or whatever, you know, maybe it was 50 and my team was working really hard. And next time when you got a meeting next week, 
that number will decrease. So you don't really need to worry about it. You know, you don't really need to worry about it every single time you basically load the page, you load that macro, because hey, it is macro, Confluence is gonna pull the data automatically from Jira. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you some little bit more tricks, some cool settings. Because, you know, maybe, maybe, I, I think it is also very important, a lot of people asking me how we can improve that view, you know? So how we can, for instance, you know, maybe we don't really need to show the key, you know? Or maybe we don't need to show the priority on our grid. Of course, you know, we don't need to show every single element. How to do it? Very simple. So you're gonna go to the edit, just to highlight that element. And of course, select edit. And from that, we are absolutely happy. You know, I think the preview works fine, but we're gonna navigate to the display options. And from the display options, you've got something like columns to display. And look at this, now I think, you know, I don't really need a key because of why? why? We don't need to show keys. We don't need to say, let's, we don't need to actually display priority. And, you know, we probably, in my case, don't need to say when is the due date. You know, why not? Well, it's just an example. And I'm, when I'm happy about this. Let's insert it, publish it, and voila. As you can clearly see, the grid is changed. The grid is changed. Okay, that's absolutely fine. So let's do one more thing because I was also want to show you that is actually our 2D. We can, of course, create a chart based on that. So again, you know, we can uh, navigate to Jira, paste the filter. I'm gonna maybe go for the advanced. So I'm gonna add go because the URL maybe it's not gonna work well. And preview it definitely JQL is gonna work. And as you can see, Jira also accepts um, chart. So very you can go 2D and 3D. So well now it's your homework. You should open Jira, you should open the confluence and try implement it. Very simple but in my opinion, really sophisticated uh, functionality in Jira in Confluence. Okay, so thank you very much for this short tutorial. And as always, please leave the comments, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much and see you next time.